a sell in May and go away, a wise stock market strategy? Picture this. It's April. The birds are chirping, flowers blooming, and investors whispering about selling their assets. Legend has it that back in the 70s, Alfred Fielding, a market guru, stumbled upon a secret sell in May and come back in October for sweet returns. And the strategy goes like this. As winter bids adieu and May knocks on the door, investors bid farewell to their stocks, taking advantage of the May market madness. Now, they then sit back, relax, sip on some lemonade, and wait patiently until October to rekindle their stock romance. Uh, but does this age-old wisdom hold water? Some say yes, citing historical data to support the claim. Uh, the S&P 500, for example, has shown less than impressive performance during the summer, with May exhibiting an average return of a measly 0.18%. And let's not forget our dear friend, Bitcoin. While it's had its fair share of May woes, the cryptocurrency market doesn't seem too keen on following the traditional side in May strategy. In fact, more often than not, the following months after May have outperformed expectations, leaving investors scratching their heads. And uh, so, what's the verdict? Financial experts suggest treading cautiously. While sell in May and go away may have its moments of glory, it's not a one-size-fits-all solution. The move are unpredictable beasts, sometimes dancing to their own tune, regardless of historical trends. So, before you decide to bid adieu to your investments this May, take a moment to analyze, strategize, and maybe even consult your crystal ball. And remember, folks, whether you sell in May or stay put, Always keep a sense of humor handy. Um, why did the investor bring a ladder to the stock market? Um, because they heard the market was reaching new highs. With that said, thanks for watching. And until next time, I'll see you next time.